Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. So, now we got the uh, whole depositing of Pokemon and moving them in certain boxes out of the way. First thing I'm going to do before we move east is I'm going to buy some more Pokeballs. Twenty to be exact, because why not? And we're going to buy some Super Potions. Uh, I guess nine. That's all I can currently afford. I should have uh, done some item management as well. God damn it. Alright, hang on. Let me just take care of this first, because I'm sure I'm going to be finding items on my way. And I don't want to have to deal with the whole item thing being uh, full. Hi, Eric. Uh, let's see. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of all these bitter items. For now. And these berries. I'm actually gonna try to stockpile berries for, uh... Moo Moo. Uh, the nugget. Don't need the beak, because I'm not using any flying attacks. Uh, no, Mike. There are not. Don't need that. I could have used that for Surf, but, nah. Don't need Mystic Water. Alright, now, let us head east. So, goal here is to, uh, move east to fucking Route 42. And looks like we're gonna go through Mount Mortar as well. And make our way to Mahogany Town. So, uh, without further ado, let's go. Hello. Mount Mortar is like a maze inside. Be careful, don't get lost in there. Okay. Well, I'm really good at mazes, except not at all. So, uh, this ought to be interesting. Route 42, Ecritique to Mahogany. Of course, since we're at night, we're gonna, probably not going to be seeing many uh, different types of wild Pokemon here. In the route. Mount Mortar, Waterfall Cave inside. Actually, I don't want to... But the tree. Oh yeah, that's act. That's right. Mount Mortar is kind of optional right now. I can just surf south of it. But you know what? Let's check out Mount Mortar just because. Let's see what we got here. Now we got a Rattata. So yeah, for right now, Mount Mortar is completely optional. I think. In fact, I might not even be able to explore much of it. I don't know. We're about to find out. So yeah, there's a waterfall. There's a strength block. Eh, let's explore as much of this place as we can, I guess. I'm not losing this time. Oh, really? We'll see about that. We shall see about that. Miller. Oh, he's got a Nido King. It's Jimmer! From Red. From my Red LP. Okay, uh... Ground Poison. So. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what Poison is weak to. I just can't remember. Whatever, that worked. Despite the recoil. He's got the uh, female counterpart, Needle Queen. Let's see what Iron Tail does. Shing. Oh, neutral. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. I want to say uh, naming conventions in this generation for Johto is uh, maybe types of wood or something? I don't know. Or like, I don't know. I really don't know, actually. I'm just gonna shut up now because I'm not gonna pretend to know what I'm saying. I lost some kid? Yeah, you did. A while back, this karate dude wanted to battle. He was ridiculously good. He just thrashed as silly. Went in deeper saying it was for his training. I wonder how he's doing. Yeah, Mahogany is kind of a giveaway. Alright, I'm probably gonna get lost here, so uh, this ought to be fun. 
I don't think I've ever explored Mount Mortar. That's weird. There's a lot of Johto I've never really explored, like, thoroughly. Anyways, here's a Meryl. Could be just nature things, like, you know, types of wood and flowers and stuff. Because there's also Cherry Grove. Cyan wood, all of I don't fucking know. Anyways, let's try to catch this Meryl. By, uh... Poking it with fire. Could be plant-based, yeah. And it's not gonna do you any good, since, you know, Ember's a special attack. Alright. Now we should be able to catch Meryl easily. Should, in you know, will we? That is the question. The answer was yes. All right, so we got a Meryl, the Aqua Mouse. The fur on its body naturally repels water. It can stay dry even when it plays in the water. Huh. So despite being a water type, it can just repel water. Like, it is never actually touched by water. Interesting. Very interesting. Here's a stu stu bat. Stupid bat. I'm not gonna risk it. No, I ain't doing it. Not risking it. There's... there's another exit. I think that just exits to a different section of Route 42. And I one-shot the Meryl with Bite. No. And I two-shot it despite the defense increase. Actually, I think Dark types are special. Can't remember if Dark is special or physical. dead end. This is just an exit on the 42. Apparently there's a Pokemon guarding it. Okay. Oh, it's a Golbat. Hi. Man, I forgot how many, like, illegit Pokemon, like, illegit evolutions are in this game. Even the wild Pokemon are illegit evolutions. Ow. Zubat evolves at, like, 22. Honestly, I was not expecting that. Can you stop screeching? Yeah. FBI, open up. We got some illegal evolution going on here. So, Golbat the Bat, when it plunges its fangs into its prey, it instantly draws and gulps down more than 10 ounces of blood. 10 whole ounces. Wow. And yeah, that just takes us to a different part of Route 42. Let's continue, let's continue exploring the mountain first. And then we'll, uh, actually, like, further explore Route 42. Like, all of it. So, let's see, what do we got here? We got a revive. Good. I like how once I bought revives, I haven't really needed to use them much. Like, I think I've used one. There's another wild Meryl. Dang, yeah, let's, let's go for it. We need the experience, like... Steve and Togepi are really falling behind here, to be honest. So, uh, we kind of need the XP at even little bits. That's all we can explore here. Okay. It was just a little dead end. Got that revive though, so that's that's nice. Ah. Ooh, 
really wish Steve had a stronger fire attack. But, uh... That's not gonna happen for a few levels, unfortunately. It's kind of the same problem as I had in red. Hey, Wild Raticate. Yay, one shot. I can't, I can't remember what percentage of recoil takedown does, but... It, it does at least some. <laughs> and a Rattata! Bunch of bastards. And isn't that just Forza 1 AI in the nutshell cam, in both arcade and simulation? Or career, or whatever. Okay, let's go up here, since there's a strength block here. Let's push the block. Oh, Corvette. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the, still, the worst part of Corvette is the C4 races, because for some reason the AI are way fast in the C4 uh, vets. Like, stupid fast. Alright, well, let's have uh, Furret use her strength here. Hmm. I don't know. Have fun with the oval endurance, by the way. Oh, fuck. Alright, this is gonna be very close on the recoil. Okay, we're good. Yeah, level 28. I'm actually gonna switch to Togepi here. Don't want him to get experience. Really want Togepi to evolve. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen for a while. Because of uh, the un unfortunate circumstances that keeps befalling him. Okay. On the verge of buying one. Print units are semi on board. Dude, nice. No, that's like awesome. That's actually really cool. Better not use self-destruct, you little rock bastard. Well, rock bitch, I guess, since female. I don't know. Bastard really isn't a male insult. Oh, whatever. Shut up, me. Forgot Togepi's more... Ooh! Okay. Togepi's evolving. i have actually taking a lot less time. All right, sweet. I'll get into this in a moment here. Yeah! Your egg evolved into Togetic. Sweet. Alright, so what you saw there was not a level 29 evolution, but a friendship evolution. So, I was kind of harping on a lot about friendship values and being upset when uh, Togepi keep kept fanning because that lowered friendship values. Well, once your friendship value reaches a certain point, Togepi evolves into Togetic. And this isn't the only friendship evolution there is. Yeah, friendship is magic in this case. So there we go. Togepi is now a Togetic. Uh, gains the flying type. As well as a pretty nice stat boost. Yeah, he's all grown up now. He's still really slow, though. Look at that speed. Like, even Steve is faster. <laughs> Furret is, like, almost twice the speed. Actually, Fred is more than twice the speed. So yeah, that's the only problem with uh, Togepi and Togetic is they're really damn slow. Plus, their level up move set is uh, leaves a lot to be desired. But other than that, I guess it's good that I put the Quick Claw on Togetic again. All right, well, um, since my since I now have a Togetic, let's just keep leveling up Steve, I guess. Steve's, uh, Steve evolves with a Firestone, but A, I don't have a Firestone yet, and B, I, uh, uh, once he evolves with the Firestone, he stops, he doesn't, like, learn any attacks through level up, and there's so, some level up attacks I want Steve to learn before evolving him, so. It's just a matter of reaching a certain level and then acquiring a Firestone, which I have not acquired yet. And unlike in, uh, Gen 1, I don't think you can buy any of the evolutionary stones in this game.
Because I don't remember. Yes. Uh, you know, Steve just goes inside the tire and just kind of runs along in it, and then when he comes out, he's an Arcanine. Right, anyways, looks like there's nothing here except a wild Zubat? Or a Rattata. A fire stick instead. Mm -hmm. Give him a Kindle fire. But I'm fish. I'm just periodically using the item finder just in case. Obviously, I'm not getting lucky. Uh, oh, here's an item. Oh, oh, another Ultra Ball. Sweet. Found two of those now. One was at the entrance Route 42, but still. Okay, a quick attack. He found fuck all. Chucks. <laughs> There's a person, trainer. There's a ledge I don't really want to hop down. Oh sweet, a nugget. More money. There's another ledge. Again, I've never actually explored this mountain, so I'm kind of just feeling my way through. We're doing it live! God, I hate the recoil so much, but takedown's really strong. And then jump down here, and what have we down here? What have we down here but another Raticate? We're doing it on tape delay. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, at least I can one shot with Iron Tail, but then I have the uh, risk of missing. Alright, let's jump down here, and here's an item. Obviously, this is an area I have not yet explored. Got me an escape rope. There's that dude. There's a there's a dude of uh Geo. It's actually a dude dead, cause female. Let's see, oh, it's another ledge to hop down. Let's go to see what this person has to say in battle and... Oh fuck, excuse me. T-Belch's help. Alright, bud. Let's battle. Hey, you! What? Um... I'm not Hugh. Hello? Hugh Ongus. Let's go for it. Level 19 slowpoke. Oh, that's right. Water resists uh, steel attacks. As information I forgot. Okay, we're switching to our newly evolved Togetic. AKA egg. So I would look at this, but yeah, I'll, I'll look at it later. Edibuta. Hey, I need to watch about that video. I think I know what video you're talking about, but I haven't actually watched it. About Humongous. I just took you for someone else. Yeah, you did! I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. Did you run into a trainer who uses a Seedra that knows Waterfall? Actually, no. I don't. Yeah, that video, Harry. Yeah, and I haven't actually watched it, but I saw it on my recommended feed. 
Alright, let's see what's over here. Another rat. Ta 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 ta. Might as well keep battling these wild Pokemon. Every little bit of XP helps. And there's nothing else. There's a lot of nothing in this mountain. <laughs> That's sick. Alright, now, where does this ledge spit me out? What you're saying is his vote count was not humongous. Oh, this is where I came from. Okay. Uh, I can't remember if like there's any other part of this I haven't explored. Been there. I mean, your job, pretty excited, dude. Nice. Always excited to be making money. Making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. Job. That's always good as well. I think I might have explored all of this part of the mountain. Might be another entrance at a different portion of Route 42. Battling the things because I can and because I need the XP for Steve. So now he's really trailing behind since the only he's the only unevolved Pokemon. Yeah, there's an item there. I think I need to take a different path to reach it. I think. I think up here is just another dead end. I don't know why, but I love hearing uh, Growlithe's cry. It's like, mm, Steve. That item via another path, okay. So let's just go back down here and see if there's maybe a passage over here that I didn't go to. I think that was. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that exit and see where that uh, takes me out. Because at this point, I don't know where I am. <laughs> Not sure if that was like the main entrance or if that's. I don't think it was the main entrance. Okay, yeah, no. That leads to the main entrance, okay. I don't think I ever went this way. No, I did not, because there's an item here. It's an ether. Cool. Probably need that for Steve here in a moment. And nothing else there. This is definitely a place I'm going to have to return to at a later point, because, um, yeah, there's a path, there's obviously a path that I can't yet access. I should be able to access it, uh, eventually. By should, I mean will. So, let's just go ahead and exit back out to Route 42 for now. Maybe. <laughs> Meryl. Look how happy Meryl looks. Oh, 
Haha, <laughs> nice try. You cannot whip me into shape. Oh, he's so close to 29. Alright. So, back to the beginning of Route 42. <laughs> so, uh, now let's surf outside the mountain. Just a little bit. Explore the outside. Just a little uh, surf area. This is basically just kind of a progress check. This pond here. Because, you know, if you don't have surf, that means you need to go west, idiot. I think. Anyways, here's a wild goldine. I don't have a goldine yet. I'm going to try to capture this goldine. Oh, that was a crit. I'm like, that did a lot of damage. Because it was a crit. Oh, okay. Well, that means I'm on borrowed time here. Because eventually Goldine's gonna burn itself fainted. Or knock itself out through the burn. It's gonna feel the burn! There we go. First try. And we now have a Goldine. Big Goldfish Pokemon. During spawning season, they swim gracefully in the water, searching for their perfect mate. Boy, might. Oh, there's an item. And apparently it's like really close. Judging by the pings of the item finder. Okay, Goldine, you're not as interesting anymore now that I have one of you. <laughs> Just use takedown. Or not. There we go. Yeah, finally. Finally another level up for our boy Steve. Actually, despite being unevolved, Steve's stats aren't that bad. Compared to, uh... Egg and She-Walk. <laughs> These are some good names for my teammate, team uh, members, let me tell ya. Oh. Okay. Get over here. Satan's distributor. Ugh. Nice cam. <laughs> Speaking of nice, that was some nice XP. Oh, here it is. It was in this rock. It's a max potion. Cool and good. Oh, there's Suicune. Fuck. I need cut. God damn it. Alright, uh, Suicune, you're just gonna have to chill there for a bit. Oh, hi, Joey. The only person in my contacts, and yeah, here we go. Alright, whatever. Shut up, Joey. So I believe this is a... Uh, no, this is not a section of Mount Warner I've been to yet. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, uh, we got... Okay, well, we can surf, at least. So this is a path we can surf on. A good labata. Debating whether or not I should just go back to Ecritique right now and bring out Oddish. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead. And, let's just let's just get the Suicune thing out of the way right now. So let's just move on back over here. Let's get a... 
And I'm also gonna cheese this by, um... Just going ahead and heal, fuck it. Running out of PP. I saw it, 9 3. A vroom. Make a big vroom. Alright. Let's get my, uh. Get my Ordish out. La 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 la. This is gonna be a long segment because of how much there is to explore here. Oh wait, I can't do that. Fuck. Hang on. I'm smart. Okay. Now I can. Oh, okie dokie. So let's see what Suicune's up to now. Once we uh, make our way back here, which shouldn't take too long. A little path here to surf. Alright. Let's use Cut. And, uh. Hey there, Suicune. Goodbye, Suicune. That's it. Ooh, more apricorns, okay. Take these to Kurt tomorrow. Hold <laughs> on, he's just like, oh shit! Run away! Green apricorn. And a yellow apricorn. There's a lot of different balls that Kurt can make, by the way. There's a lot of different apricorns. Alright, I'm gonna probably make a big mistake here, but fuck it. Actually, I don't know what kind of a mistake it would be, I guess, a pineco and then just immediately self-destruct. Alright, anyways, let's explore the next part of this mountain here. The sea portion. I guess. I probably should not have used bite. Oh god. Quickly, get rid of it. Get rid of them. Okay, we're good. Can't go up here. I can apparently uh, fight wild Pokemon on the waterfall, but I can't actually go up the waterfall. Oh, piss. She probably could have got away with Ember there, but eh, whatever. Say, wow, it's a huge waterfall. Indeedly do it is. And nothing else over here. Yeah, so yeah, I'll have to come back there once I gain the ability to scale waterfalls. What is over here? There's an item over here. And also a lot of Pokemon guarding the item. Not actually, but you know, the timing of it. It's another Golbat. Keep running into Golbats right in front of things. Boom. That's some good experience for Steve. Oh, full restore. Good. Getting some good items in here. Like a full restore. And an Ultra Ball. And a Max Potion. Oh, wait, the Max Potion was outside, but still. Yeah, sure, let's go this way. And a Hyper Potion. Good, good. What else we got here? Man, this is a long path. Max Ether. Alright. Hopefully I won't ever have to use that, but I might. And we got to Zubatu. Do, 
Aww. Oh, good, he flinched. Or she flinched. Ugh. Alright. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss won the tag titles, really? Oh. I mean, I love Nikki Cross. I think her character's been toned down a little bit since joining the main roster, but I still really like Nikki Cross. A PP up? I want my PP up. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to be able to uh, pick that up, I guess. Right there. Alexa's a really good heal. But she, son she hasn't been really doing much, I don't think, since the, uh, the boob job. Could be wrong. I don't really pay any attention anymore. Even though I want to, I just don't give myself time to. Okay, that's back to the entrance of this area. Yep, no hidden items here. Oh, you're... Yeah, I saw that. I know nothing about that game other than ex it apparently exists. Carbos! That's... Damn it. Alright. I'm just gonna have to toss something. Ugh. Fuck it. Get rid of the escape rope. Carbos. Okay, what does Carbos do? Raises speed. Okay. Well, Togetic definitely needs speed, so uh, I'm gonna give him some speed. And there's that dead end. I can pick up that PP up now, at least. I have a spot in my bag. So that's good. Just take this Meryl down. Aw, oh, really? What the hell, Steve? What's with you l lately? You seem to not be doing as much damage to things. What to heck, man? Gonna go ahead and use a potion on him. Why not? So let's go pick up that PP up. And uh can't remember if there's another path that I didn't go on the water here. I'm gonna save the PP up for like a low power attack. Or a low PP attack, I guess. If I have one, or if I use one. Oh yeah, I didn't go this way. There's a strength boulder over here. A strong the boulder. And also a good little batu. Damn. There's that 90% accuracy. Or whatever it is. Oh well. Taken care of. Ah, oh, I can't progress this way. Damn it. Alright. That's another dead end. I have to go... I have to move that boulder from the other end. And that is it for this part of the mountain, it looks like. At least the parts that I can actually explore for now. Save. Mosey on back to Route 42. And uh, head a little more east.
That did a lot less damage than I feel like it should have. Oh well, whatever. Taken care of, it's fine. Anyways, yeah, I never knew, like, about the existence of Project Torque until, like, a few days ago when uh, Angel mentioned it on stream. Because, you know, I don't pay attention to MMOs, ever. Alright, nothing there. Here's a fat guy. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. He's a fisherman. Is this the guy? I don't think this is the guy. But is he the guy? No, he's not the guy. He has a quillfish. Cool. Right. Oh, that's right. Fucking, I keep forgetting water types uh, resist uh, steel attacks. And now he's small. Can still get bit, though. And flinch. Damn it. I love the minimized sprite so much. It's just it's tiny. What? That's not right. Or is it? I want to become the trainer champ using the Pokemon I caught. That's the best part of fishing. You're trying to be the ultimate trainer too. Well then we're comrades. If I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Just give me your f okay. I'll register Tolly's number since he's gonna give me free items. Why not? You'll be hearing from me if I find something good. Alright. Now, mortar waterfall cave inside. Chugging beer. Yes, Iowa. Hey! This is my secret place! Get lost! You outsider! And what about these other guys over here? Are, are they your friends or something? Or are they also intruding on your secret place? Oh god, it's the best in the world, Shane O'Mac. Here come the money! Here comes the neat arena! That did less damage than I was hoping! <laughs> remember when we were happy Shane was back? Yeah, I remember those days. Those were the days. I'm gonna keep Steve out. This Anita Rino. That's actually a really nice looking sprite. Okay, I have to see how poison reacts to steel attacks. Neutral, okay. Well, he's no longer the best in the world. <laughs> Should've used my Moonstone. Yeah, you should have, actually. You're working on a Pokedex? Wow, you must know some pretty rare Pokémon. May I please see it, please? No. Fine. Hey, bud. Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free! Yes, free in the fresh air! <laughs> don't ask what that sound was, because I don't know. Anyway, it's Benjamin. Gonna lead with a Diglett. Eh, level. There's gonna be one of those incremental level trainers, isn't it? Level 14 seems low for this area. Oh, okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong. You do. You know, level 14, okay. I guess I was wrong. I was expecting like a level 14, then a level 18 Diglett, and then like a level 22 Doug Trio or something. Oh, he's got a Doug Trio! What a level are you? 16, okay. Still not nearly as high of a level as I expected. But easy to take down and get XP from. There we go. Gaha! <laughs> Losing feels insignificant if you look up at the big sky. Ah yes, the beautiful night sky. God, he is the spaz. Speed. I'm really not, Sob. I've been taking a long time on this route. Like, this recording's already at 45 minutes. Of just doing this route, uh, Route 42 and Mount Mortar. <laughs> There's 
probably not going to find really anything new in the grass here because it's nighttime. So, eh. Okay. And is that the end? Oh, that was the end. Okay. Mahogany Town. Welcome to the home of the ninja. Oh, we made it to Mahogany Town. Thought there was going to be a little bit more of the route left, but I was wrong. So, let's just go to the Poke Center, heal up, and uh, we're going to end this, that segment. Also probably going to take a little intermission, just to uh, get a little something to eat, and uh, kind of rest my voice a little as well. Because these long Pokemon sessions with all the dialogue and shit that I read out kind of hurts my throat after a while. Border, yeah, border time. So with that, we will explore Mahogany Town. Welcome to the home of the ninja. Uh, when I come back from my little break here. <laughs>